Hi everybody, Alex Abreu here from Expert Forex and in today's video we're going to be looking at using laptops to trade the forex market or the financial market. Now this is a question that I often get is what kind of hardware do I need to trade forex robots and can I use my laptop? So I'm going to be answering that in the course of this video. But what we're going to be looking at are we we're going to look at the advantages of using laptops what specifications laptops can have at the high end and you'll be pleased to know at the low end so you can actually go in with a pretty basic laptop and we'll talk about that we're going to look at setting up a workstation using a laptop then i'm going to show you how to monitor your laptop and monitor all the important aspects of its trading then we're going to talk about maintaining your laptop and also how to travel with your laptop and what to do when you are traveling. Then we're going to address robot trading specifically using laptops. Now the biggest benefit of using a laptop is to increase your mobility as you're trading the market. And the other advantage is that a laptop has dual functionality. It can be used as a laptop as well as a desktop. So those are the two main advantages to using laptops. So what we're going to do now is we're going to look at the high end of laptop trading and, and the kinds of laptops that you can buy. And this is a Dell that I'm looking at right now. And Dell, I have used Dell for quite a long time. And why I like them is that they are business machines. So their reliability is very high. But look at this laptop that you can buy. Uh, you can either get an i7 or even an i9 processor for this particular laptop. Um, you can also get uh, a RAM that is as high as 64 gigs of RAM. And then your hard drive, you can get a 2 terabyte solid state drive. Now, I mean, the technology is just shooting through the roof and they are packing so much processing power into a thin laptop these days. Those are the main sort of areas that you would look at. But uh, let's have a look at some other areas like a battery life, support. Uh, what support does the manufacturer of the um, laptop give you does it have a cpu cooler in other words is there a mechanism built in to keep the cpu cool and uh, because one of the biggest problems with laptops is the heating if you overwork your laptop it will heat up and that must be managed all the time also what kind of video card now if we're doing uh, basic trading sometimes you don't need a very high quality video card uh, it's not like w w the type that you would need if you were gaming and things like that because you're basically looking at charts and graphs uh, then uh, you need to look at the screen is it an anti-glare screen is it a backlit screen that type of thing how many ports there are you need quite a few you USB ports and you obviously need uh, ports for your screens and things like that so you need to look at those you need to look at the quality of the camera if you are going to use your laptop for meetings and conferences and uh, obviously the mic and speakers play a role uh, in again choosing your laptop um, uh, and also most laptops these days come with wireless facilities built into the actual laptop and then lastly you need to look at the su power supply that comes with the laptop how um, what are the specifications of that particular su power supply because you might have to replace it at some time or you might have to buy a duplicate now the specification that you see here is probably over the top but if you are using it as a desktop then those specifications of let's say 16 gig and a terabyte of a solid start a solid state drive would most probably be very good and depending on how what you're going to be using it for instance if you do need it for optimization you need a lot of storage room for the history data that you're going to be using so you need to have hard drive considerations when using a laptop for optimization so let's have a look at setting up a workstation using a laptop now one of the good things to do is to find a stand that provides good ventilation for your laptop as i said earlier 
heat is one of the biggest problems with laptops and you can find a very inexpensive stand like this with a number of fans that will keep your laptop nice and cool and because it's elevated there's a lot of air circulation going on now as you can see i have my laptop here i have such a stand uh, underneath it and that will add to the ability of using your laptop over long periods of time. You have to monitor a couple of things when using your laptop. And, and again, temperature is one of them. And here's a free piece of software that you can go and, uh, go and download. It's called Temp, it's called, and it will analyze your computer and tell you what the current temperatures are, what the maximum is, and, uh, and that type of thing. So you can monitor your laptops temperature using this software pretty handy software as i say depending on what you're going to use your laptop for this is going to be quite a critical piece of software the other way of monitoring your laptop is to use the task manager the task manager tells you what percentage of cpu is being used what percentage of memory is used what percentage of disk and uh, in general what kind of power usage is taking place and uh, this will become critical when you start using the lower end laptops because this is the only way to tell if your laptop can actually handle the stress that you're putting it under is to buy monitoring these you should never really go over more than 70 percent on memory and cpu usage and and disk usage so so this is the type of thing if your laptop is slightly under spec you need to monitor this very careful uh, carefully along with your temperature all the time and if that's okay then your laptop's okay so here you can see a typical desktop setup that i would use if when i'm traveling and i have uh, i'm staying uh, uh, over at a certain place for a couple of days i would set my laptop up like this i'd have a a, a keyboard a mouse and i would connect the laptop to an external screen because i prefer looking at a big 30 inch screen than this particular screen this particular laptop which is about uh, three to four years old is a fantastic laptop i still use it it's a dell it's got a touch screen but the one thing that's bad about it it has a very reflective screen and therefore i like using an external monitor also i uh, wherever i go whichever country i go to i purchase a stick which will give me wireless access to the internet i don't like relying on hotel uh, internet services or other types of services i prefer using my own the other thing that i can do here is i can link this laptop to up to two external monitors so it's actually quite nice after a while i don't even need to look at the laptop because i'm using the two monitors that i i link it to and i've got my keyboard and my mouse and away i go so that's how you set the laptop up to be a workstation and uh, in fact it is duplicating a desktop and all you have to do is monitor the laptop's ability to not exceed the cpu percentages and the memory percentages and the temperature percentages if if that's okay you can run the laptop as it is laptops haven't been designed to be on all the time um, they're more for the convenience so that is why we uh, need to monitor that particular th aspect now, personally, when I'm traveling, what I do is I use my laptop for basic functions. So what I do is I go at the airport, I check my mail and just do basic business things with my laptop. And I, that's why you need a portable wireless stick uh, for every country that you go to. Also, what's nice is I can build... I can set up a workstation very quickly as you've seen here uh, wherever I go. The only limitation is the screen. I have screens in some of the offices that I have uh, uh, throughout the world. So I have them there. I just go in and plug in. Otherwise, sometimes I'd go and actually buy a screen because it makes it more convenient. And then I have the screen in that location. Now, what I do is I run all my trading on desktops at from home. So when I'm traveling, I dial into those desktops using the laptop, using TeamViewer or remote desktop, and I, I can then manage that trading on that particular desktop. Because I'm traveling, I haven't got 
I haven't always got a guarantee of permanent connection to the internet uh, and I'm traveling around so uh, robot trading where you need permanent connection to the internet is most probably problematic on a on a traveling laptop and that's why I use the combination of a desktop and a laptop and team viewer to manage those now just a tip when you're traveling always wear protection very important package your laptop very carefully a few years ago i made the mistake of putting my power supply in my laptop bag and the pins from the actual power supply i just gave the bag a slight little bump and the pins broke the screen so be very careful i never pack my power supply in the same packaging as as my laptop for that particular reason also i've designed some bubble wrap where i can just slot my laptop in which gives it a little bit more protection now as you see in laptops now have this almost the same specs as what you would get with desktops and the only danger i would say is that if you're using it as a trading station like this you can do exactly what you can do for a laptop all you have to do is monitor the temperature and the cpu usage uh, very carefully and uh, if you are set up like this you will have connection to the internet 24 hours and the five days of trading so that's no problem whatsoever uh, as i said when traveling that isn't really an option in terms of robot trading Portfolio trading is also very good for uh, laptops. You can basically dedicate a laptop to just trading, let's say uh, between 30 and, and 100 EAs can easily be run on a laptop on a one functional basis. So in other words, when I say one functional, you only use it to trade MetaTrader platforms and you just control the temperature and the usage and you'll be fine optimization however does take a lot of resource but if you buy one of these really high-end uh, laptops optimization shouldn't be a problem i still but old-fashioned i prefer doing my optimization on a desktop computer the, this laptop that i have has the same spec as my desktop computer it's most probably over spec but it also has 16 uh, megs of ram it's it has an i7 very fast uh, processor and uh, i can most probably do optimization on that but i prefer not to i prefer to do it on the desktop but that's your choice if you have uh, the confidence in this high spec laptop that you've bought then certainly go ahead now we come to the big question what is the minimum spec for a laptop and quite honestly i cannot tell you what that is i just know it is very very low and why do i say that in 2012 i made this video telling people how you can use an old laptop there was an old laptop in 2012 to create your own vps system and i actually loaded 17 metatrader accounts and installations on that old laptop and it worked perfectly it didn't heat up it just traded those 17 installations each each had about five robots on it so it was trading well over 50 robots and it was handling that pretty nicely but that particular robot was sitting in a corner I wasn't touching it it was just doing that one function so you can actually get away if it's just trading that you want to do you can get away with a very low end spec uh, robot and in fact you must probably a 300 or 400 dollar uh, machine that you buy off ebay will do the work very nicely when you come to optimization however you need slightly higher cpu strength uh, to do the op optimization either do it on a desktop or on a laptop that's been highly specced in terms of cpu like an i7 with quite good good, good speeds are uh, will do the trick so the good news is you you can get away with a very low spec laptop um, especially if you're going to use it to log into other other computers like uh, let's say you're using a computer to do your optimization you can log in with team view and have a look at that computer if you're doing if you're running a number of, of portfolios on other laptops or on other computers you can just use team view again to log in and 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 to do that logging in you need you can do it with a very low spec computer so the good news is you can use a very low spec computer just watch the temperature 
and the CPU usage. That is how you tell whether your, comp your computer can handle the stress uh, is, is if you are within those limits, 70% is the guide and then your temperature, that software that I've shown you will tell you if you're overheating or not. So that's the best guide I can give you. But uh, MetroTrader is actually ex incredibly efficient and doesn't strain your computer all that much. One thing I'm, I most probably didn't mention is that this in fact is a docking station which you can attach to your laptop and it will increase its, the functionality of being able to plug in various additional pieces of hardware that will increase the functionality of your, uh, your laptop. So it turns it into a very powerful desktop. This a docking station. Okay, I think we've covered our agenda, the, the advantages, the specifications. You've got an idea. Have a look at those high-end specifications. You can water them down quite a lot, uh, but that is the uh, top end. Uh, top end, and then the bottom end is actually incredibly lo low. I think any computer laptop that has uh, is about four or five years old should manage any tasks on MetaTrader, and you can actually run quite a big portfolio on that. Be careful of using it for optimization though, you need a powerful CPU to run um, uh, optimization and that's basically an, an i7 a type of um, uh, CPU with reasonable RAM like 16 uh, megs of RAM. So I've shown you how to monitor your laptop. I've shown you how to maintain it. The other thing is the airflow on these laptops can be problematic from time to time. And that is why on an annual basis, you need to have your laptop professionally cleaned. And why I say professionally cleaned, don't try and open that laptop. It is a very specific way of opening any laptop that only the professionals can do with confidence and what they will do is they'll open the laptop and clean it out of any dust or anything that's that's been created over the last couple of months or so that i would suggest that you do that that's a good investment to make okay we sp we've spoken about traveling and we have spoken about robot trading on laptops. And I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope I've given you lots of information about uh, using your laptop for trading. Uh, as I say, if you do it on a dedicated basis, uh, trading a portfolio, you can use a very old uh, laptop that is very, what we call functionally allocated. It, 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 uh, you only use it for the function that uh, of trading. Um, if you want a multiple functional laptop, you will need to invest in a more powerful laptop. If you have any questions or comments, please make them in the uh, video commentary. And from me, Alex Deploy, thanks for watching. Cheerio.